days and today I'm going to stream the second group of my invitational tournament um, we are playing with 16 people and we're getting fire on board 7 at the first round wow uh, that's a tough game Alexandra is always a very very strong player so she plays d4 um, I think I go knight f6 let's also check the stream here I go knight f6 let's also check oh. the stream Okay, let's go e6. Let's focus on the game. We can fix the stream afterwards. I think I go bishop b7 here. Maybe bishop b4 coming. Let's castle. Okay, I'm gonna go c5, trying to create a weakness on d4 here. Okay, e3 is a good move. Should I take this? I think I do. And then go knight e4, trying to get rid of her bishop pair advantage. Bishop d3 I can take, and bishop h7 I go king h8, okay, she takes back, I think I go here, yeah, I'm trying to bring the knight here, maybe queen, uh, queen c7 and knight f6, let's play knight f6, and go queen e7, I'm not reading the chat at the moment, I'm really sorry about that, but I will do afterwards, after this game, uh, because I was organizing this tournament, I didn't have enough time to set up the things on the stream. She plays f4. Should I go back? She goes f5 and it's going to be very tough for me to play this position. Um, wait a minute, I think I go here. f5 I go e4 and win the pawn on f5. So, yeah. Let's also put this one here, maybe pop out the chat at the same time so I can read what you're saying. I'm really sorry about that. Let's just put this one here and put this one there. I mean, yeah, I think that's fine. So let's focus on the game. 94 has been played. I think I go 94 here and uh, let's play f5, maybe e4 here. Maybe I can also take, wait a minute, I can take this and then take the rook. I like this like my position let's return the rook and now I got two rooks against the queen which is usually favorable for me hi Dr. Swajanzuk how are you doing high energy yeah exactly you're always bringing high energy to me let's go rook c8 let's see what she's gonna do here let's see what she's gonna do Okay, she plays b5, blocks off everything. Now I'm going to try and get the control over the, the file here. Maybe even a5, I'm not pretty sure. I think I go for it. If she takes, I just take back. Uh, thanks Bobby8989889 for the follow, appreciate it. What can we do here? Maybe rookie 3? Oh, this pawn is a little bit weak can we do here thanks for the follows guys don't like my position now to be honest let's go here I mean Queen f6 I go wow are you from Iran welcome happy to see so many Iranian players in the chat I think I go here maybe rookie 3 don't like my position now anymore I think I, I will be happy with a draw here uh, given the time situation that we have Thanks Tuna um, Jedic for the follow. Let's just take this. I'm gonna go for the draw here if she wants to. If she wants to, I'm gonna sell her for a draw in this position. Or maybe maybe I can ask for more with rookie two, but maybe hide the king here? Wait a minute. I think I can Wait, check. Here takes. Is that winning? Check. I think it's winning. Check, 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 check. Let's just take this. Rook g4, mate is threatened, mate in one. If I can bring the king here to h6, then it's gonna be very tough for my opponent to. to parry these threats here. I think I can go here.
need to be very careful though it's not an easy position to play especially in time pressure hope I can win this threatening this but then the king comes out I need to be careful if she gives me some checks I'm gonna be completely winning she should try and find some 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 other way I think it's gonna be a draw with perpetual probably uh, yeah I think it's gonna be draw let's go here I'm threatening mating one now I'm trying to bring the king on maybe I think it's a draw yeah it's a draw yeah this is a draw I think we'll set him for a draw here wait a minute did I blunder that oh let's go here let's not take the queen that was a smart decision from her trying her best to win the game oh wait a minute she just blunders Ooh, that was a nice win that was a close one that was a really close one and we got the dub in the first round very lucky indeed very very lucky indeed um, she was trying for the win there uh, hi Ali Azex how are you doing So in the meantime, let's see the other results. Let's watch other games. Lara lost against Masut. Such a tough pairing for Lara in the first round. Uh, I beat Fire on board here, and also um, Defian Cheryl lost. Medina Paz lost against Tannos. Wow, interesting. So we're going to the next round. We're facing Tannos with the white pieces. Let's go with Knight f3 here. Let's play b3. Maybe Bishop b2 here. E3 bishop E2. Let's play a very solid chess here. Let's play castles, play C4 maybe. Let's take this, play D4. Let's go knight BD2, maybe rook C1 and bishop D3. Trying to put these two bishops on these two diagonals and create some threats against her king. Let's also check my Discord here. Joseph didn't show up, yeah? Yeah, he didn't show up, so I can't do anything. Okay, that's that's gonna be fine. Let's play Bishop B1 here. Trying to create some threats here with the Queen and two Bishops on the diagonal. It's not gonna be easy for my opponent to deal with them. This Bishop is blocked behind the pawn on D5, and I like my position, to be honest. Can I go here? She just takes. No, I don't want to do that. What can we do in this position? Like, I don't know. Maybe rookie one just bring the knight here from f1 to g3 and maybe f5. Let's announce in my Discord that I'm live. Very quickly. Okay, let's go. Let's return here. Let's take the buggy. I'm up on time. I also lost a little bit of time because I watched my Discord for a moment, but that's not going to be a big issue. I, I, I got this target on d5 to attack in the future of the game, and also queen c2 ideas to create some mating patterns with this bishop. And I can always join f3 to protect the, the pawn on h2 here. So my opponent should be very careful in this position, I think. If the queen moves, I can also take on f6. Um, I like this in these kinds of positions. I can't be I can't be unhappy with the outcome of this opening. By the way, also let's just change the the space between the rounds. It's 10 seconds. It's so uh, let's make it one minute. Players need some rest in between rounds. So my opponent plays. Knight g4 here. Maybe I go knight f3 to protect the pawn on h2. Bishop f5 also might come to harass the knight away from g4. Queen c2 is also possible. Can I go queen c2? I think I can. And g6 is going to be forced there. Now it's so difficult for my opponent to play this with all these holes in the position. 
I'm pretty sure F5 is a threat. Let's go here. I think I go here, try to exert more pressure on the pawn on d5. Also, I think the bishop can be very important. Like bishop e6, h3, knight f6, I can take and win the piece here on d6. Wait a minute, can I take this? Wait, oh, the rook is hanging. My rook is hanging. Need to be careful not to blunder anything. Let's put the rook on d1, put more pressure on the pawn on d5 as well. And everything is fine now, especially the time situation. If I take rook e6, let's just play h3 first, kick the knight away. Um, and now, what can we do here? Come on, I don't find a move. Let's go here, threatening rook d5 maybe next. And now I think I can take it. Let's just take and go with the ending with a pawn up. I think that should be enough for a win, especially that I'm time ahead. Maybe, oops, I was blundering my rook. If I don't do that, I'm gonna win. Okay, we got the bishop pair as well, that's fine. And now I go rook d7, trying to track this pawn, and uh, the knight is also very misplaced here on h6. I, I first go e4, I think, and threaten bishop here, also guarding the, the back rank. Very important indeed. And now I bring the other bishop, bishop c4 coming, to attack the pawn on f7 with more pressure. Now I'm trying to... Wait a minute. How to win this game? Mm. I think I go e5, e6 coming maybe. I think this is gonna be dead here. Yeah, she, she just lost on time. So that was another big win. And we lead the tournament. Wow. We lead the tournament. How are the other games going? We got Emin against Optin. We got... Oh, Lara lost against uh, Tom and Jerry. Oh, she's got tough pairings. Uh, maybe a Golden Warrior playing against uh, Strawberry. What's happening in this game? Mm, so White is much better here. Yeah, E6 and A6 pawns are both. Hang yeah, I think I think White is definitely going to win this game. Three pawns up should be enough for a player of Vessel's caliber to win. So um, maybe check mm, E6 coming E7 think here, um, rook c7 maybe? Yeah, knight goes here, I think she can also take and go king g3, I think, I think everything is winning here. Wait a minute, what was that? Still probably winning, but just take, yeah, I think this is winning, let's look at the other, oh, there's no other game, so... Rook e4 and check king g3, knight here, okay, I think she's gradually gonna, gonna convert this, so let's look at the table, we got Optin uh, with 2 out of 2, we got Masud with 2 of, out of 2, Chess Tomioka and Manchester is red with 1.5, Mubina lost against Masu, tough pairing of course, Thanos lost against me, fire on board with fireboy, 2 fire people, um, 2 people which have fire on their name, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, Medina Paz beat Defian Chair, I think uh, Kuban Fide Master here against the Kub Kuban International Master. So, um, yeah, still a lot to play for. Of course, the players going on top like me are going to face top dogs like Optin and Masud, and um, we're going to lose points. So, I'm not very optimistic. Hi, Chess Girl 2025, thank you very much for the follow, appreciate it. Good luck to you as well. What's happening in this game? Why it's not it's still finished? Is Parsa trying to cause some... I, th I think this, this, this is just an easy win. Just King G6 coming and... Oh, you need to be careful here. Just take the knight and King G6. Just take the knight and King G6. Yeah, anything is winning here. I think he needs to resign here, Parsa. So big win for Vessel. is joining the one point players in here. Having a close call with each other. So, 2 out of 2, can't complain, we are doing well, we are doing well, can't complain really.
Are we gonna get Masud or, or, or are we gonna get Optin? We're gonna get Black, I think we're gonna get Masud here. Maybe these two face against each other and we get Chest Tamioka. That's gonna be even better, maybe. And then we can also offer draw against top players, maybe. But we got two big wins at the start, so that's that we can't complain. Also, the first game against Fire on Board 7, Alexander Monsuscrow, World Junior Champion in 2019, was actually a very lucky win, to be honest. So, we're getting Master Toughest game of the tournament, of course, against the Grandmaster. So, let's, start, let's try to play good in this game. Let's play the Caro. I always play Caro against Masud. I don't like to play Sicilian against him because he always plays this Mora Gambit, which he knows very well. He, he actually... Um, beat many top grandmasters even in that uh, that variation so okay let's go knight c6 hit the pawn maybe queen c7 i think i go bishop g4 here f3 is a line h3 i didn't see to be honest what is h3 if i go back maybe g4 i think i just take this and go e6 Although I gave up the bishop pair, but I think the position is playable here for me. Castles, I'm just going to castle back. And then, yeah, this is kind of annoying. I'm getting smashed on the king's side if I'm not careful. I think I just return this, defend the knight. Let's push h6, hit the bishop. Another idea here is to launch a minority attack i think we go rook a b8 and b5 a5 b4 try to uh okay a4 is a very good move preventing my b5 assault then i think i go a6 maybe b5 in the next moves wait a minute should i take this takes takes here f4 i think that's fine to me oh this is gonna be tough this is gonna be tough now he wants to take that he wants to to take on h6 which is kind of annoying i think i go here try to at least make some problems for him with the with the bishop now bishop h6 maybe maybe f5 first f5 it's weakening the e6 pawn i don't like this f5 takes takes e4 I think I go knight e4, maybe sack and try to win c3. I think I go f5, I don't want to get mated here. <gasps> Just takes. Oh no, I, I blundered. He had queen g6 after bishop f6, which I saw. So I don't like my position now anyway. I think I'm doing very badly in this one. Let's try to I mean, bring the knight back. Let's play... Maybe rook here. I think I'm trying to take the pawn. Maybe knight e5 with bishop d6 ideas coming in the future. But still, of course, my opponent has a better position. He's got the bishop here. And also, my I have three pawn, pawn islands against uh, his two. So, it's not going to be an easy game for me to play. But I, I'm still alive. I'm uh, not giving away anything. That's the good thing. Can I go d4, by the way, here? Wait a minute, why didn't he take that? He wants to do now, so... Wait a minute, d4 takes... If I take, then there's rook e7 and threatening mate. So, what can we do here? Maybe queen c6? Or queen... Let's play queen c6. Protect the pawn. I'm getting under some pressure to be honest, but maybe try to bring the knight here to c4. Hi Matty, how are you doing? Welcome. Let's play knight here, maybe knight c4. Thanks uh, Zomorod for subscribing with Prime, really appreciate it. Welcome. Let's take. AB5, I go queen d6. Thanks for the sub, really appreciate it. I really like Prime subs because with Prime, although it's free, um, you have to choose only one streamer between all those streamers, which, which is very valuable for me when people choose me to, to sub. Really appreciate it. Let's go here. Can I go bishop c5 next? But this pawn is lost. I think, yeah, this is, this is, maybe I take f4 though. 
I take this first and then take on f4 because if I take immediately then g7 is going to be soft so he protects that understandable I need to be careful about my time as well let's go takes queen f7 g6 also coming I'm playing good game here I, I'm getting some chances let's go here hit the queen let's go knight c4 okay good job good job let's be careful here I mean this pawn is a little bit soft I don't like that but what else can I do let's go queen c7 maybe c3 coming you have six also oh no this is not good let's go here maybe queen f5 yeah I think I'm gonna lose this now but he's also low on time I might get some chances wait a minute wait a minute my time my time my time oh oh yeah I think this is lost I'm, I'm trying for some perpetuals here go king h7 let's go queen b1 try to deliver some checks maybe queen a2 if he's not careful wait a minute wait a minute we got him we got him let's go let's go we got him check and there we go we got the dog against the grandmaster takes go here take the pawn I'm definitely not gonna lose this game check here check put the rook here and then you just pre-move everything you can do absolutely nothing here there we go takes here 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 22 seconds more than enough to win and there we go we got the lead so leader there we go we're doing bl brilliantly in this tournament three out of three so what happens? Defiant Chair lost against Fireboy, Golden Warrior against Lara lost, so Medina Paz lost against Fire on board, Strawberry lost against Tamu Jerry, and uh, yeah. Chess Tomyoka beat Arnold. Wow, Chess Tomyoka is gonna face me in the next round. Uh, a Kubayan Kid. Strong player also. Okay, <laughs> people are joking in the chat. Yeah, maybe came to the stream and I beat Masu. So three out of three, can't complain, three big wins. Um, and we're in a great position to qualify for next round. I'm not gonna risk anything for next rounds. So I'm gonna, okay, let's look at this game. This game is super ex exciting. Wow, can, can White break through this? Emin is trying to outplay Kava from this position. I don't know, I don't think it's possible because this pawn actually provides a good shelter. I know Queen versus Knight and Bishop is lost for Black, but uh, with this pawn on F7, it's going to get very, very difficult. Also, he needs to be a little bit careful because when you just shuffle around, you might lose your Queen if you're not careful, like running into a fork with a Knight or something like this. So. Emin also needs to be a little bit careful when he's trying to win here. I think it's gonna be a draw here in this position though. So, Queen a7 hitting the bishop. Wait, I mean, I think he got this. Check, King e5. F6, I think. King f4 is still not so clear. But he, he moved a pawn, so, <laughs> so they need to play 50 more moves here, I think. That's the thing. And uh, yeah. I think this is a little bit dangerous strategy for black to play with. Okay, check here. Um, Queen 2 back. Don't know what should we do. King d4, king e5. Maybe trying to mop up this one. I know if he. If, if, if white manages to win this pawn somehow, he's gonna be winning theoretically, but in reality I don't know whether he can convert or not, but in, theoretically I think it's winning if, if you win this pawn. And I don't know of course how to win, there is not, uh, not a specific technique or something for that, but should be winning. Look at the times also, they, they got one second and 
They're playing. Wait, I mean, queen h5 coming? Queen h1? And take the bishop. And Emin got it. Emin tricked Kave at the end of the game. And now he's gonna win this game very easily. King h4. Just need to not to run into any forks. Check. Don't go king g3, king h3 good move and now queen g2 is made so that's the end of the third round and we'll lead the tournament with 3 out of 3. What a good performance. What a good performance. If we, if we beat chess Tom Yoko in the next round that's going to be insane. Whew. Of course it's very important to, yeah we're, we're trying to, uh, by the way, uh, thanks for tuning in BK Chess, good time to tune in, I'm going to shout you out here, make sure to check out BK Chess, good streamer, also a Chelsea fan, like me, um, with some good chess and GeoGuessr content, so make sure to check him out, give him the follow, um, and yeah, try to go for 4 out of 4, it's a very strong field, all players are strong, see FM is in the last place, lo losing 3 games, so it shows how strong the field is, and um, yeah, you're welcome. I'm very happy when other streamers tune into my streams and take a look. So we're playing chess Tom Yoko with the white pieces. White pieces should be fine for me. Let's try to win this game as well. Let's play bishop b2, play e3, maybe bishop e2 here. Let's play the lines that I know the best, so I can play very fast. Let's go d4 again, trying to play against this IQ piece. Very similar to the game I played against Tannos two rounds ago. I like White's position in these types of things. I bring the rook here, maybe bishop d3. Again, the same plans. I played this once, so it helps me to play much faster and uh, don't go into time pressure. Good game I had against GM Hikaru. Yeah, it was. Uh, you mean today? Yeah, today we played against Hikaru and I lost. Hi, Super Ramir, how are you doing? Welcome. Let's shout out Superb Amir also. Uh, very strong FIDE master, fellow streamer. Make sure to check him out. Hi, Iran Chess also. Welcome, everybody. The party is now beginning. Let's take. Consolidate the knight. It's roughly equal now. I think everything is equal. Like, it's a complete symmetry in this position. How can I play for a win? And I, and I actually became black. I lost the tempo somewhere. Oh, I lost the tempo with bishop e2 and then bishop e3. So now I'm actually black. And uh, losing one tempo. I mean, by the way, I'm leading with 3 out of 3. With a very good performance in this tournament. The tournament that I'm organizing myself. And hope I can continue the, the journey. Let's play... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we go knight g5? Takes, takes. b2 is also there which is kind of annoying but let's just go knight g5 I think I that was an idiotic move to be honest yeah knight g5 was a very bad move by me very very bad move by me because he's not gonna take if he takes then it's fine I take and uh, we got the the pressure on f5 but if he doesn't take then the knight is literally not doing anything here wow he takes wait a minute what was that I didn't expect him to take. Now I can go queen h5 maybe? This pawn is a little bit weak. I'm going to play g6 first. To consolidate my pawn here. This pawn is going to be very very dangerous for him in the future. Maybe knight f7 as well to put pressure on the f pawn. You can also take. If rook takes I can take. Wait a minute. Is that a trap? Or I'm just winning? He lost the pawn and now rook f7 coming to win the pawn here. Okay, my pawn is taking his time. He's going low on time. That's very good for me. Uh, and now I can go here. Wait a minute. Just rook f7. And then we take with a pawn. Because if he goes king f8 then, wait a minute, just check, check takes here, here, queen f2, I think that's it, yeah, just takes and queen f2 coming, should be winning, 
Just check and we mop up the queen and that's the end of the game. Let's go, let's go! 4 out of 4, 1 point lead, let's go. What a performance.